Hey y'all, this is Brett, and you know, we just checked out the, what do you call this thing? A Vardo. We just checked out the Vardo, and now we're going to make a video for Suzanne's knee pain. And you know I can help her with that, right? <laughs> <laughs> so tell us what your trouble is, Suzanne. Well, uh, uh, I have, it started out with the plantar fasciae. I just kind of pain, don't know where that came from all of a sudden, and then it went up into my knee. Uh -huh. And then I uh, was bicycling last year, uh, and I bicycled 25 miles every other day, and the bike wasn't fitting me properly, and that's when the knee started. Mm -hmm. So when I had this knee pain, I couldn't bend it for a while, about four months ago. I couldn't squat on it. It's getting a little bit better, but um, I have a lot of issues on the outside at night, cramps on the and in the tendon area, and I think that comes from all of that. And then it goes up into the hip, and sometimes my leg just goes out on me. Mm -hmm. okay. So I'm not quite sure what's going on. Okay. I just remember that if I'm going to demonstrate and show this stuff to her, then I need a cameraman. David, would you help? Absolutely. Cool. Could you sit a little closer? Sure. Come right on down. Right where you are. Uh huh. Come right on down. Right. Right about there is good. Right. I gotta have enough room to move there. Okay. So, um, I'm gonna feel it. Check it out here. And come on, fly. I'm gonna check it out here and see what's going on. I got some coconut oil. You think that'll do me for a while? Uh, I absolutely <laughs> think it will. Yeah, that's a good amount. Oh, and it smells so good, yes. Yes. <laughs> and I put it on for sunscreen and so on and so forth. So whenever you're filming, I don't know if you've done much filming, but you kind of want to make it make it interesting by zooming in and going left and right. and Not, not by zooming with the zoom, but just by moving it in and out. So, so when I'm working on her leg here, come right on in. And check it out. Don't get too close. I haven't and shaved my legs today. Oh, that's all right. <laughs> Long pants, you forget. Okay, so I can feel that that is like a knot right there. It's very right sore. Right there. Mm -hmm. Oh, but I can make you like jump. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I bet you could. <laughs> yes. Okay, so this is also very like swollen and, yes. and tight. Okay. So the more swollen and tight, come right on down here, the more swollen and tight these are, then these, and then these, and so we've got a line of muscles here, and also this is the liver meridian in Chinese mm. acupuncture and pressure, okay, and it goes all the way up here, and, and so... You want to work on this line to give this area relief because these tendons are being strained by these muscles that are tight in this line. So this whole line of muscles and tendons has to be released. Okay. So you can go to a massage... <laughs> now look at her face. <laughs> Grimace. <laughs> yes, it's right there. <laughs> oh. Yeah. It hurts like a mofo, mm -hmm. huh? Yeah. Okay. So, you can, if you've got money, you can go to a massage therapist and you can have them work on these. If they're good, they'll work them out. And then soon thereafter, if you continue to do your activities, then you're going to have them back. And then if you've got more money, you can go back to the massage yes. therapist. Yes. <laughs> or... To do. I'm going to show you how to do it on your own Very so that good. everyone can heal. Everyone out there can heal themselves if they've got a little bit of oil. And remember, you can't just do it dry. You got It's got to slide. Mm -hmm. It's got to slide so that it can strip lactic acid and move lymph, etc. and loosen all of this up to give you relief. So I'm going to work on mine and you're going to work on yours. Super right together and David's just gonna get a good good view of uh, both of these legs 
Yours already has some oil on it, but mm -hmm. if you want some more, just in my, just on my fingers mm -hmm. a little bit. We're gonna work on the lower first, and then the upper. We're also probably going to work on the foot because you, the first thing you mentioned was that you had plantar fasciitis to start. Well, that's just going to go right along mm -hmm. with all this because mm -hmm. everything in the foot, this is going to affect this, is going to affect this. It all, it's like that, what's it, what was that little song? The, the thigh bones connected to the <laughs> yes. day, whatever. <laughs> yeah. Well, the muscles are connected, inner connected to. Okay, so feel feel that. Can you feel that right there? Yes. Where it's lump lumpy? Y yes. Remember lumpy from uh, Leave it to Beaver? <laughs> yes. Well, I thought this was a calcium deposit and it's not. It's muscle? You got bump? you got lumpy right in there. Lumpy Rutherford. Lumpy Rutherford. I do. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so I don't have tightness in here. My tightness is out here for Yeah, this comes reason. at night. This this just locks up at night, mm -hmm. this one right mm -hmm. here. Right, especially right in that area. Now for me, yeah, and it's good to position where you're going to get the best light. So, yeah, perfect. So for me, I get the most bang for my buck on these muscles mm -hmm. with this tool that I made from a rake handle. Mm-hmm. And this is covered with a natural finish from Earth Paints called uh, the, the, I'll think of it in a minute. But it's made out of a cashew tree resin, so it's all natural, much better than lacquer. So I can get some leverage by holding this like this, putting my arm against there like mm -hmm. that, mm -hmm. and working that like that. Mm -hmm. Now you got the perineal minor down here. Mm -hmm. And you can work that like that. You can also take your knuckles and massage the muscles. Mm -hmm. Now, you can take the ends of your fingers and get your leg on that angle and strip them. Man, that's very sore there. Oh, right there. Mm -hmm. Right there, it's like, an, like a pressure point. Now there. try this. Mm -hmm. Take your hand, bend this more. Take your hand and come here, and now do some of that. Pull that and work those out. So those are those bumps. Yeah, feel the bumps. Yes. Feel for where it's sore. That's the yes, key. Where it's sore, sore yes. and swollen, you you massage it out of there. Work it out, and then you'll get your relief you need. Wow. I didn't realize that I could actually do that. Uh -huh. <laughs> I thought there was something going on inside. Now, if you had gone to a medical doctor... Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's give you God this knows. <laughs> God knows what they would have recommended. Mm -hmm. I, I, I have heard, you know, operation... We can do that. We can cut you open, mm -hmm. and in 20 minutes, and $20,000 later in my pocket, mm -hmm. you will be healed. Mm-hmm. That still would not have, have gotten rid of these sore muscles in her leg, or back, or arm, or shoulder, or just, my lord, all kinds of operations that they can come up with to, to slap onto that HICFA 1500 form and gouge your insurance company and bankrupt this country. Mm -hmm. Seriously, like one of the biggest things that's making the rich people filthy rich and the poor people, poor and sick, is our medical system. It's horrible. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the Obamacare, that's not going to really do anything to change any of that. It's going to make it more affordable for you to get shitty, <laughs> <laughs> shitty health care, which, which isn't, it's not health care. This is real health care. 
when you can empower yourself to be able to heal your own body and mind, that's real. Yes, I believe that. <laughs> you you got to be your own doctor. Yeah. I believe that. With, with whatever else is going on, but you have to pay attention to your body right. yourself. Yeah. Yes. yes. Right, yes. exactly. And I'm tuned into that part. I just needed somebody to tell me what to do. Mm -hmm. I didn't know what to do. Now, if you have a spouse or a friend and you're willing to work on each other, then you can get better leverage on doing with doing that. It's better. But only if the person is good that's doing it and willing. They have to be willing, you know, and I've had so many people come to me for a massage in the past where I'll say, well, why don't you get your husband to work on it for you? He's there for you every day, but he's working every day, or he just doesn't want to make the effort for whatever reason, you know. And so, but if you have, if you have a spouse that's willing to work on you, then you can get them into to do this. Okay, so come right into this. Bring this out a little bit. Okay. Get your body into a good position to be able to work on whatever part of the body that you're working on, okay? From right here, I've got leverage to be able to crank on these muscles, okay? Okay, that's a little too moist. You want just the right amount of oil, so I'm going to make that less. I could even work on this with my yes. ulnar muscle, or my ulnar bone. Mm -hmm. Okay, see, that's a weapon right there. That bone in your arm, you can take that, hold the back of the leg with one hand, and take that bone Wah. and use it <laughs> to strip that whole thing. That's definitely the one that does it. Oh, yeah, right there. Ah -ha. Ah -ha. Right there. Yeah, right there. <laughs> Okay, so mm -hmm. do a nice big strip with that and then do some petrissage. This is this this little circular circular motions. This is petrissage. Wow. You feel it? Yeah. Yeah. See, I found a bad spot, yes, so I'm gonna stop. Did. And, and focus on that specifically a little bit more and then I'll just continue to go down. Oh, and then I found something right over mm -hmm. there. So your fingers have to become little radar detectors. You know, they gotta, they gotta learn how to get good at feeling. You can get good at feeling your own body mm -hmm. and your, or other people's bodies with practice. Right there, okay. Okay, so now, the inside. So now, for the inside, we're going to open that up a little bit. And I'm not, this one's more sensitive, so I'm not going to use the elbow. I'm just going to get in here. You've all, you've already done a lot good of good work. work. I can feel that it's, it's softer, softer than it was when we started. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So right in here. Oh, right there. Mm-hmm. So, look at that. See, you bend that like that and you mm -hmm. turn it into a nasty little weapon for healing. That's like an oxymoron, huh? A, that, we that a, makes weapon. Perfect sense. a weapon for healing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we come on down. <laughs> down the so leg. Because you haven't worked on it yet. You've never done this before, no, right? No, no. Well, that's why. See, it's like... If yes. it, if you don't mow your grass, what happens? Yeah. It gets it gets on neglected and long, you know. So you gotta either have some goats or something to eat it down, or you gotta have a lawnmower, one of the two. Okay. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah. See her flinching. That's this is all sore. Mhm. Mm okay. When you're putting pressure on that, exactly what is happening? Uh, on on those little hard places, what? Well, 
you know, in massage ther in massage school, they tell you that there's a lactic acid built up in the muscles, and the lactic acid is a byproduct of muscle movement. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't know that that that's the exact complete or complete truth, but I do know that for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. That's totally true. And when your muscles are working. There's going to be something that happens to them, and then there's going to, you know, just like a tool, you have to take care of, a, like if your lawnmower <laughs> gets all full of grass, and after you're done with it, you, if you want it to last, you want to clean it up. There's regular maintenance to do with that. There's regular maintenance for your muscles as well. They have to be taken care of. <laughs> and that, <laughs> I found another bad spot oh, right yes, there. You did. Okay, <laughs> so right at the end of this muscle, there's a tendon, and those are the the, the parts that are always going to be the first to react to a tight muscle. And so this is how you take care of them with massage, which is massaging the muscle from the inside out and on specific points. And then yoga or stretching, whatever you like to call it, is the other thing which, mus which releases the muscle by stretching it from the outside in. Hmm. Okay? That's very interesting. I could feel that coming okay. all the way. Check out the video, Reflexology Using a Stool, and you'll learn the best way to work on the bottom side of your feet for that. And, and all this leg pain, you've got to work on your feet, too. Very important. Okay, so I forgot to show her how to work on the upper part of the leg, so I'm just going to get some oil on mine here. Got a little extra, so there's some for you. <laughs> well, let's get rid of the cellulite. <laughs> uh, now, no. coconut oil is supposed to be really good for your skin, and it has this caprylic acid in it, which is very anti candida and probably bacterial. Nice. But, um, okay, so. This is best done sitting in a chair, but I can pull it off right here. So once again, I'm going to use that ulnar bone right here. I'm going to hold my wrist with my opposite hand and lean into it. Are you putting the same amount of pressure back and forth or just down? The just pressure? down. Okay. You just push it and push. Okay. Now, if you want to work on the inside ones, then you just turn your leg inside. Hmm. The speed is dictated by how tight the muscle is. So right here, it's not too bad. But once I get into right here, right mm -hmm. I start need to start to slow down to work that out. Okay, and I'm going to switch and go to the top part of the quads. Okay. Mm -hmm. And show Suzanne's. Mm -hmm. All right, work to the inside. Find something to stand on there. Like that. Is that better or worse? No, oh, it's better. Good. Okay. Now work towards the outside. That's when I don't need it. Okay. Because I can get enough leverage. Good. Excellent. Okay. So where it's tighter, you slow down that movement to actually work. Strip that muscle where it's where it's tighter and to loosen it up yeah and wherever there's just sometimes you'll feel a knot yeah. you know just a knot and you'll just want to you just want to stop and work on a specific knot to yeah, dig those. that out of there because a knot is where it's really making that whole line of muscles really shorter tighter and a lot of pain you'll get in all various points along that line 
So the whole thing is to loosen, loosen up and stretch. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And in regards to like the lines of muscles that I'm talking about, you can read a book called Anatomy Trains, written by uh, one of the rolfers, one of the master rolfers, I don't know which one. But it's a great book that shows you uh, with uh, great pictures all the different lines going through the body and then you'll get an understanding of, of well oh that's hurts so that's in pain so I need to work on additionally and besi besides that all the other muscles along that line to relieve it and I'll usually work laterally I'll usually work towards the most painful spot I'll start far away and then I'll start working towards the, the, the worst area because it's like a tight rope, you know? All these bands are like, like ropes, interconnected ropes that are releasing one after the other. So, okay. So if you keep doing that, then you won't get the cramps. You keep working on those legs, you know? And if you keep working on your legs, then your arms will get tighter and you got to work on your arms too. So don't forget... You can apply this mm -hmm. to everything else. Yeah. And the tools are really important. So this tool is great. And this tool, a softball for your glutes. This theracane, a theracane for your back. That's a yoga mat, and then you saw the wood roller down there. <clears throat> this is a wood roller. You can also get a foam roller. And they make them out of PVC pipe now. So anyway, so thanks for joining me. Bye.